Now, after a wrongdoing or misdemeanor comes opportunity to make things right. This is the case with the embattled member of the House of Representatives from Abia State, Alex Ikweche, who has publicly apologized for assaulting a bolt driver, Stephen Abuatea, in Abuja. In a statement, Ikweche admitted that his behavior does not reflect the values and character he strives to uphold as a citizen and representatives of the people. Meanwhile, the embattled lawmaker appeared before Okuje Magistrate Courts today, was granted bail in the sum of 500,000 naira. The case was adjourned till the 8th of November. Now let's hear from the lawmaker. What began as a misunderstanding regrettably escalated into actions and remarks that do not reflect the values that uh, I hold dear. The motion that this matter be referred, instead of going into suspension like everybody in Nigeria wants us to do, for us to apply the house rules. Those in support of this say aye. All right, BKO, the lawmaker has put out an apology uh, on, even on the floor of the House of Representatives, but let's look at it. Is this apology good enough? No. Um, as you can see, even his own colleagues in the National Assembly who have been put to shame by his um, irresponsible behavior, mm. they've now come out to say, no, apology is not enough. We refer you to a committee that will look at your matter. So if his own colleagues said, no, your apology is not enough, what do you expect me to, to then say? Mm. I cannot say his apology is enough. You see, because public officials go around with multiple uh, security operatives, they always want to go beyond their limits. Do you think in hand-to-hand -hand combat, it could have beaten that ball? Exactly. Of course. Huh? In hand-to-hand -hand combat, what is the guarantee? Because at a point he was saying, do you think you can mm -hmm, beat me? Mm -hmm. You know? I don't think, I think they need, he asked for help. They need to actually provide that help. So the they should get clinical psychologists to look at him. Because some of the things he said, at a point he didn't even know which house he belonged. He said he was a senator. How are you? <laughs> <laughs> so you think he doesn't need help? He needs help, first and foremost. They, should, they need to subject him to thorough checks and offer the help that he needs. It's not everybody who walks the streets that is well. Mm. If we subject a lot of the people leading us to test, you see that a lot of them have mental issues. I'm not saying has mental issues, because I can't say that until they have checked them. Sure. But he said that he, he needs help by way of counseling. Mm. Let them start from there. Maybe in the course of counseling him, they will discover something. Because he knew that boy was filming him, and he still and continued he still to behave on. in that way. So, I thought he would have... No, you know. so something is wrong. And what? Because you bought snail, you wanted to eat snail. You must bring it into your house at night. They are not... It's not um, part of their rule of engagement that they must and enter your, your house. house. In these difficult times, no. ordinarily should have sent one of his aides... Maybe he had policemen and other people go and collect that thing. Why were you insisting that the boy should bring it into your house when it's against their... Uh, this? Mm. So I, I think that this is not merely an attack on an individual. It's an assault on fundamental human rights and the sanctity of our laws. Mm. They need, it needs to go through its trial. Yes. I'm happy. That, okay, finally, the person was saying nothing, we happen, nothing, mm -hmm. we happen, go and tell the IG. You can see that something Somebody who is not even as big as the IG was the one who arrested him. Mm. So he should do some soul searching and tell himself, look, I messed up and I shouldn't mm. do this again. Dressing, gorgeously coming to the house. I didn't see the sign that he was sober. Mm -mm. What mm. would make me happy is for this guy to go to jail. Let an example Make example. Be made. You can't be beating up people like that mm. just because you have policemen. And after all that, they still lock the boy up. 
Come and this is equal still. Yeah, yeah, let's talk about fair, fair, fair hearing. Section 36 of the Constitution talks about fair hearing. But a similar matter happened in the UK. Uh, Mike Amsbury, a labor, a labor um, lawmaker in the UK, and he was suspended by the House. Do you think the House should have actually suspended? Will it be fair? Will it be okay for you to say that the House yeah, is suspended? Should, that, that, for me, that should have been the first step. So that, like we always say, let there be fair hearing. The people we discussed first in Redeem, mm. they were first suspended. At least that will calm him down. It will calm him down because the way he behaved, when I saw that video, the first thing it reminded me was this campaign by the NDLA, spearheaded by General Buba Marwa, okay. that everybody holding public office mm. should undergo a drug test. That was the first thing that came yes. to my mind. Mm. Because when you operate at that level, the first thing that must always come to your mind is caution. Caution. There was a day I was driving around Ojota, and a vehicle, the lead of mm. the convoy of this man, came and brushed me and was going to move away. And the man at the back of the car told his own driver, stop. And he came out to apologize. Apologized to me sense of and told the, com the, the, the that what is wrong with you? This man is on his road and he's on his, he has his right of way. And you went and eat him, and you are still whip, bring, bring us whip. The man beside me was bringing us whip to uh -uh. so uh, the that order of BT. Eh, that is complicity of the police. So, where I'll use my police to beat you. Exactly. And if the policemen were there at that time, I would lock you in the jail. If the policemen were there at that time, they would have carried that order Exactly. Out. And another thing is, an honorable member who feels an ordinary mm -hmm. citizen like a cab driver cannot, cannot question Who is can, so somebody who is doing his Can such a leader be accountable to his citizens? So it's a no, that's, they don't even know why they are in government. But anyway, thank you so much. Thank you so much, gentlemen. Dr. Oladipo, appreciate you. Appreciate thank you. you for thank you so studio. much for having me. Thank you. I've missed you as always. Thank you so much for coming to the studio.